and I'm kind of going to just divide this up. And um, I'll show you why in a bit, but I want um, two, rota two of these at the bottom close together. And oops, make sure I'm going the right direction. And three on each part, and you'll see why in a little bit. Um, so you can also do this with extruding, but you know what, I'm going to wait on the rotation actually for this object because when I go to select things, like if I just want to select the middle face, well it's possible, but it's going to be a lot easier if there's no rotation on it. Um, so I'll just add this that in when I'm done. And now if I want to select things, it's really a lot simpler from these views. Anyways, so, okay, not going on the reference as much, but, um, you know, I want to make my own original sword. I'm going to go in the main view, so, okay, um, actually, one more. We want three segments, so that'd be four lines. Oops. I'll try, there we go. And a couple more. One, two, three, four. And let's do one more section, and then that'll be the top. Now I can show you hitting the space key. Um, this is going to affect the smooth mesh pre. I'm going to hit the Q to just go back to the main selector. Right click over, over mode. And if I hit the three. We can see it's kind of smoothing that out, but that's affecting how it's smoothing. But what's pretty cool here, I'm going to hit the 1 again to go back into that. I actually want the full 4 lines here, I believe. Oops. Undo. 4 lines. Um, oops. There's 4. So now if I go in and if you hit your Q, you have your options. So I'm going to make sure my paint base selection is not selected. Um, through holding down Q, um, you can also um, paint selection can be useful where you sort of paint over stuff. Um, you also have your lasso tool if it's not in a straight line. But um, the marquee is going to work great for this. And I don't want camera base selection because I want to be selecting all of them at once. Anyway, so I want to go jump into this view. Um, and kind of go through, and I want the middle one. Um, make sure I have all the geometry, in here, all the cuts. I want the middle one to be small, and I can show you why in a bit when we look at our oops. I want to drag over it, not just click it. Bring it in like that, and go through and do this for all the sections. But yeah, let me, I can just say that um, smooth mesh preview is incredibly important. Um, it can show problems with your geometry. Sometimes it will get creases, and that'll let you know that there's problems going on with it. Um, and just what it's going to look like. You can also achieve different looks than if you just smooth it and then. Um, then mess with it on um, there's certain things and I could do a whole nother tutorial on that but anyways dragging over this I'm gonna move this in and now we should be able to see when I hit three we're getting kind of a cool shape sort of sword like and what I want is I would like and I'm gonna s probably start working all within uh, the smooth mesh preview mode. I kind of want it to be sort of at a curve, so I'm going to have four, uh, maybe not. Um, and now I want to select vertex, and I can kind of start to move this up at sort of an angle. I'll also want to be moving this up too. And I often hit the 4 key to make sure I'm not selecting other stuff besides what I want to be selecting. You can also kind of go to the back. So I want this kind of be moving up at an angle. And that'll mean the 
this needs to be going up to. And I might just do this for one or two, because I know your time is important, and it would probably be kind of repeating the same process over and over. Uh, make sure I haven't selected anything I don't want. Um, let's see, going up at an angle. I think we want this to be, we can have this going up even more means we'll need to move this up like that hit five to make sure it's looking good and yeah probably this will be the angle we're displaying from so yeah just kind of repeating this process maybe I'll just do one more really quick so you can get the idea move this up move that up yeah and you can kind of tweak it to get the crease that you want in there as well. Um, oops, hit the 3 key, I want the preview up even more, which means that needs to go up. Yeah, it's looking good. Now let me see, I think, let me switch back into this view really quick. And I'm going to want to extrude this, probably just do one out um, to access your scale. Oh, you can also hit the plus and minus to make this bigger or smaller. Access your scale, I just tap this really quick and that'll let me scale up the whole thing. So I will probably do a tinier one and one here like that and then one more. I want the top rounded. Hit three and see how that looks. I'm going to add in a little more so I can kind of tweak it to get the look that I want exactly. Um, now here I can, you can also do this with faces, but I'm going to double click on the edges and you can kind of affect the way things look. So I kind of like that where it goes in. I might bring this one in a little more like that and W key to move this down. Maybe add in one more right here. The three key. And then, oh yeah, this select all. You want to be over a face that you're not um, over an edge when you're in edge mode or over vertex when you're vertex mode, often when you're not selected, and that'll let you access this without the complete tool. Um, all right, let's bring that in. That looks pretty good for a handle. I might really quick just scale this down a bit, like that. Um, and if you only want to scale a certain area, you know, you can go into your side view the five key and um, one view can help you see exactly where you're selecting um, and then oops, want to go to face and using face you can kind of make this taller obviously want to move that up from there and now you can see that that thing is again kind of the height I want you can also see this just looks kind of weird from this view, which is why the smooth mesh preview is really helpful. Because um, that's the look you'll get. And even with Mental Ray, you don't even have to smooth it. Um, it'll actually smooth it for you. Anyways, let's go this down a little bit. And then I'm going to start working at extruding this bottom one. I'll probably switch, hit the one key just to this main view. Select the face, and um, let me see. Yeah, extrude that down. I forget if I hit the extrude or not. Face, extrude. There we go. And let me see what I want from this. Um, all right. I think I'll want it going out a little bit. 